Hi, my name is Vivek Adhikari. I am your English instructor. In this class, we are going to study about connectives, that is conjunction. So, let's begin. In this class, we are going to study about connectives, that is the other name for conjunctions. For that, I have written or rather compiled a paragraph from the given sentences uh, in the book. So, this is the paragraph that I compiled. Let's have a look. Manisha didn't go to school because of headache. She tried to study a couple of pages of her English book in spite of her illness. Deep inside, she knew that unless one works hard, one cannot achieve the desired success in life. In order to be an engineer, she needed to study a lot and study smart. In the afternoon, she took a pill so that she could feel better. While she was lying on her bed, she had planned all about her next week. She was going to study English and math. She enjoyed math despite it being a tough subject. Now, can you find out the connectives or the conjunctions from this paragraph? Now, let's try from the first sentence. Manisa didn't go to school because of the headache. So, what is the conjunction? It is because. She tried to study a couple of pages of her English book in spite of. Now, we have another conjunction. Deep inside, she knew that unless another conjunction one cannot achieve the desired success in life in order to be. So, in order to is a conjunction. She needed to study a lot and study smart. Afternoon, she took a pill so that she could feel better. So, what is the conjunction? So, that is the conjunction. While she was lying in the bed. While is also a conjunction and it makes a complex sentence. She had planned all about next week. She was going to study English and math. We do not have any conjunction in this sentence. Let's look at the last sentence. She enjoyed math despite it being a tough subject. So how many conjunctions are here altogether? We have because, then we have in spite of, after that we have unless, and after that in order to, after that we have so that, and finally we have while and despite. That is eight conjunctions altogether. Now let us start by looking at what conjunctions are or what connectives are. A connectives are those little part of sentences that connect two different sentences or sometimes even a single sentence in different ways. Let's look at the first group of conjunctions and they are because or sometimes even because of. After that we have since in order to. After that, we had so that. So, these conjunctions have a combined or specific name and that name is called reason and purpose conjunctions or connectives. So, we're going to write reason and purpose connectives. Now, let us look at the second set of examples. There were words like although, even though, in spite of, despite. So, these conjunctions do have a special name and it is called concession. So, these are called concession connectives. After that, we have other words like if, unless, in case, provided that, or even if. So, these words do have a special name and we called them condition connectives. Finally, we have other set of words like after, before, since, when, while. So, these are called time connectives. Time connectives. We do have another set also and in that set, we, st we use things like where or wherever or sometimes everywhere and these come under a special topic called place connectives. Right, so how many types of connectives did we study in this part? We studied about five different connectives but there are more types of connectives like there, there are connectives of manner also and other things but let's talk about this much only for now. The first one is called reason and purpose connective, right? It consists of words like because or because of, since, in order to, so that. I went to the market so that I could buy a kilo of rice. I went to school in order to study. Since I love studying, I went to the school. Because of my younger sister, I could not study. Because of the falling rain, I could not, you know, play football. So, these are what we call reason and purpose connective. After that, we have concession where we concede something like uh, there are words like although, even though, in spite of and despite. In spite of the rain, we played the football. Uh, despite the rain, we played football. So, these oppose the ideas. That's why they are called concessions. After that, we have condition connectives. Words like if, unless, provided that, even if, in case, come under these topic. If you study hard, you get good marks. Now, that is a condition connective. 
Finally, we have place connective where we use words like where, wherever, and everywhere. Like everywhere we travel, the same guide was with us. Or wherever, uh, the, wherever he led, we followed. So these are what we call the place connective. And finally, we have time connectives in which we use words like after, before, since, when, and while. For example, I will call you after I come to Kathmandu. Or meet me before you leave. Or sometimes even return the book when you meet me next time. So these are the connectives. Now let us look at some of the following examples from the book. The first one is Namita didn't get good marks in the exam dash she had studied well. What could be the possible answer in this blank? Namita didn't get good marks in exam space she had studied well. So there are two different ideas. The first one is Namita did not get good marks one idea separated by another idea that she had not studied well and which connectives are we going to use is it the reason or purpose or is it the concession so i think we are going to use the concession connectives namita didn't get good marks in the exam although she had studied well or the answer could be even though she had studied well or though simply though though she had studied well that is to say we use connectives of concession so the concession connectives are used right now let us look at another example she goes to river dash fetch water fetch means to bring she goes to river fetch water we have first idea followed by another idea and these ideas are connected they are not opposing like in this case but these ideas are somehow connected with each other they are not contrasting with each other but they are rather comparing or let's say complementing each other so which connective are we going to use is it the connective of concession or the connectives of reason and manner of course we are going to use the connectives of reason and manner so the probable answer could be she goes to river in or order to fetch water or she goes to river so that she could fetch water she goes to river sometimes to fetch water but that is not good example of the connectives it goes to river in order to fetch water so this is the answer let us look at a couple of more examples and after the, that we are done number c they went to elan dash he could enjoy absorbing the tea garden right we have two ideas they went to elan they could enjoy observing the tea garden the two ideas are connected with each other they are complementing each other they are not contrasting each other that is why we need to use the connectives of reason they went to elam so that they could enjoy observing the tea garden they went to elam because they could enjoy observing the tea garden they went to elam since they could enjoy observing the tea garden right now let, let us look at another example malik had stopped the list dash is nigli genes Malik has stopped the list dash his negligence. The two ideas are, you know, contrasting each other. That is why we need to use the conjunction of concession, which is Malik has stopped the list despite his negligence or in spite of his negligence. So in spite of or despite his negligence, Malik has stopped the list. With this, we have come to the end of our today's class. I'm going to give you some homework. In this homework, I want you to fill in the blanks using the proper kind of connectives. Right, we have four questions. We have two ideas. You need to fill the blank with the conjunction. The second one is you can stay with me, blank space you want. Third one is they will come, blank space, they listen to the news. They did, blank space, they were instructed. So in each of these sentences, we have two different ideas sometimes the ideas are complementing each other and at other times the ideas are you know contrasting each other you need to find out whether the connectives of reason and purpose suit these for spaces or whether the connectives of concession suit these blank spaces that's your work find out with this we have come to the end of today's class if you have any questions or suggestions regarding this lecture feel free to write us at learning at thank you